So let's talk about pulling reports from the uh, Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Now, Microsoft actually makes this really easy to work with. So from our main login, I've just logged into uh, my Microsoft 365. I'm going to go to my app launcher and admin. That's going to bring up my main admin screen. And I want to click this option right here to show all. That's going to show me all of my options, including down here is all of the admin centers we've been exploring in some of our other videos down here. But what we want to look at here is our reports. And we see them right here in this top section. So they're quick and easy to get to. I'm going to do my drop down. And I've got a couple of different things here. I've got the productivity score and usage. Now, I haven't turned on my product productivity score yet. So you can turn that on here, but it's something you're going to have to enable. And it gives a little definition here uh, to learn how people in your organization use Microsoft 365 and how it's impacting productivity. So what we're going to look at most of the time is probably going to be our usage reports. So we click on usage, and it takes a second to load, but it's going to give all of our usage by major product. So here you see our active users, and you can see what we're using, Office 365 or Exchange or OneDrive. And notice as I roll over them, it's kind of highlighting for me by uh, product. So gives me a nice little graph. And remember, this is a trial account, so I mean, this is a very, very boring report. But, you know, on an actual account, you'd have way more interesting data. We also, and you want to scroll down here because your temptation is to stop right here and you don't see most of the reporting that they have. So this is going to show us our active users for Microsoft 365 services, for Microsoft 365 apps, and you'll see which apps have been used. And as you hover over it, you'll see a little more detail. I notice these buttons down here that say view more. That's to dive deeper into each of these areas. But let's keep scrolling for the moment. So email activity, the number of emails sent, received, and read. Microsoft Teams activity. Uh, Outlook, number of files stored. SharePoint, number of files stored. And remember, all of these are just kind of like gateways, right? So each one of these... And now we're getting into stuff that I haven't actually used yet. Each one of these is just a real quick overview. And if we want to dive into the actual data, then we need to come down here and click View More. So since I clicked View More in my OneDrive, this is going to show me more information about my OneDrive usage. So number of active accounts, files, storage over the past 30 days or 7 days or 90 days or 180 days. Uh, this is going to give me my URL and who's using it and how many files that user has and how much storage they're using. So this is where we start getting into actual usable information. And if I want more details, I can export that. So let me come over here to storage, and I'm going to go ahead and export this storage. And it's going to come down as a CSV file. So I'm going to click on my CSV file and open it up. And this is going to give me a little more detail on my storage used for on a day-by-day -day, uh, basis so report date uh, report refresh date so that was pulled today 522 for each day it's going to show me my let me select a couple of them here there we go 516 uh, my total usage and my OneDrive usage in bytes so if I need to go that deep, I can more often than not. For most things that I do, I'm going to work with, let's let this reload here. I'm going to work with the charts that they give me. And this is not wanting to pull back up. So let me come back here. Oh, no wonder. That's where I downloaded it from. This is where I wanted to go. So. Uh, let's go back to follow our breadcrumb tra trail here back to usage and now we can look at other products. So let's take a look at our active users, view more for our one active user, which is all of me. So number of usage, uh, activity, services that are being used on a daily basis, and then here the detailed list. So pretty straightforward reporting. 
that's actually relatively fast and easy to get to. And remember, you can always follow your breadcrumb trails back here to get back to your home or back to your usage reports. So monitoring reports and what's going on in your system, honestly, it's kind of important because you want to make sure that you stay aware of who's using what, make sure that you're getting the usage out of it that you expect, make sure you're paying for the right amount of usage, make sure you're getting as much productivity out of what you're uh, paying for that you can. So there you go, a quick and simple overview of reporting in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center.